Hello, it's Henry at Bidwell. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever it is that you are watching this. For today's Monday Motivation, I want to present to you one quality that will make you a more attractive person. Are you ready for this? It's not skinny jeans, it's not six-pack abs, it's not having glowing skin, whatever that means. <laughs> the number one quality that can make you more attractive to others is this, humility. Humility is a very attractive quality, and you might think about how it feels to be in the presence of a humble person. And begin by asking, what does humility look like? We can often think of a humble person as someone who thinks less of themselves, but C.S. Lewis rightly points out that a humble person isn't someone who thinks less of themselves, but thinks of themselves less. What are the specific qualities, then, of someone who is humble? Well, humble people listen well. They forgive quick. They apologize when wrong. They show keen interest in other people. They serve others in as many ways as they possibly can. And how is it that we become humble? Well, this one's a little tricky because with too much effort, we might in the process of trying to become humble be proud, <laughs> which is the opposite of humility. We can become humble by practicing some of these traits, which are really behaviors. Listen actively, forgive as a matter of habit, make an apology without rationalizing our behavior or qualifying it, show interest in people by asking specific questions about their life and building the conversation. Wherever you go, seek to serve. And simply love people because God's image is in them too. But there's another way to be humble. Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 through 7 says this, Let the same mindset be in you, that was in Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. What the scripture is saying is that humility begins with our image of God, and that's a pretty striking image, isn't it? <laughs> Our self-emptying God on the cross who poured out his love for you and for me, relinquishing power and authority for us. Our humility begins with our view of God and his love for us and our reverential posture toward him, which has a horizontal effect. It affects our view of and care toward others. These verses from Philippians are our memory verses for the week as a church found in our Ancient Rhythms Packet you can download online and are for you to consider as you draw closer to Christ this Holy Week and prepare for Good Friday as we host a service in our sanctuary at 7 p.m. This quality of humility, which is said to be the mother of all virtues, will make you a more magnetic, engaging, and interesting person to be around. Wear it and try it on for size. And remember, it stems foremost from your view of God in Christ. Have a great week.